What is up everybody? Today we're doing day three recap of the social challenge where we go out every single day for 30 days. No drink, no alcohol, no smoking, no drugs. And we're following the book, The Rules of the Game as a social fitness challenge. Bum, bum, bum. So <laughs> day three, we had to call how many people? As many people as it took. Random people uh -huh. until we got three movie recommendations. So, G, if you didn't get that, that's three movie recommendations, mm. and uh, I didn't call anyone. Uh, I decided just to uh, ask random people um, for the movie suggestion, and I think it kind of worked out well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had kind well. of a similar thing too. So um, I did ring a lot of places. Mm -hmm. um, when people would answer, it was around four o'clock. I just started calling around shops because I knew that they had to answer their phones. Mm -hmm. They were obliged to. Yeah. Um, I got one movie recommendation, mm. but I had. Yeah, what was it? Is it Herstory or something? It's like Her a horror Herstory? movie. Oh, was that Hereditary? Hereditary, that's the one. Oh, yeah. sucked. So I no, got that one. Good, but like, it's it. like, you're just like pulling your hair at the end, you're like, what did I just watch? Well, technically, <laughs> I was supposed to keep going until I got three. So she said. But I, <laughs> I, I literally had places to go for people to see. So then I, <laughs> later on in the night, asked the three people, ran around the bar, yeah. got it that way. But there was other ones, there was ones to um, yeah. concentrate more on the way you speak, mm. um, the way you approach people that way. Yeah. Which I was noticing a lot of things as I was, as I was reading up. You know, there's lots of things as joining of words that doesn't need to be there no yeah i i find that um I'm, I'm even doing it now with the uh and the arms and yeah whenever you become conscious that you're filling in silence with ahs and ums it kind of makes you really think about your speech and how you're it's being also conveyed. as well yeah. there's there's a lot of things there about speaking too quickly mm-hmm and nobody likes a desperado trying to get all their words in. Mm. Makes mm -hmm. people think you're not worth listening to. Yeah, so this is all information from the book, The Rules of uh, the Game. And I was actually saying that uh, this social challenge is actually really good if anybody is doing things like outreach, uh, especially if you're uh, an activist, activist, you know what I mean? If you're going up to people Are you an activist? Hi. I'm a shirt, I'm a, I'm a hoodie activist. So I mean, you need to shirt. mention these things, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, so how did you find, you know, walking up to people yesterday and just asking for Oh, that was a breeze. That was a breeze, to be honest. Okay. Um, it wasn't the, the for me, call, it's traumatic. The phone call thing was actually quite difficult. Um, uh -huh. The reason that I didn't get it done time is I was trying to put it off. Uh -huh. And then I put it off too late. Um, I wasn't, didn't take into account how many phone calls I'd probably have to make <laughs> people to pick up. Yeah. Or to even dial a valid number. <laughs> <laughs> that means my time, but I was shaking. I hate the phone so much. I would yeah. rather speak to someone face to face. Doesn't oh, bother okay. me as much, but but maybe yeah. that's in connection with I, I'm very conscious about the way I talk, and mm. come across vocally. Mm. See me like I'm fine uh, with the phone. I just didn't want to like put dial in a number and then spend like five minutes trying to get a right number and stuff. So I was actually waiting for my friends to come and be like, can I just. Can I just call wait, wait, a random wait. person off your off your friend list that wouldn't mind? But we ended up just too many excuses to here. But we're gonna have to book our ideas up and make sure we do these challenges because they're actually a lot of fun. So. Oh yeah, of course, yes, of course, yeah. So, but I thought you know asking someone uh, in real life is quite difficult as well. Or maybe not for you because you say phone is more terrifying. And I, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's but, just my thing. I don't know. I don't. Mm. I always feel like in life you can get away with. A lot of a lot of things I say, you know, can be taken the wrong way. But if it's coming from a smiley face, <laughs> they usually I just yeah. get offended. But you said you weren't like tra traumatized or anything by uh, oh. doing the challenge face to face. Where I was, well, I wasn't like traumatized, but like I felt that emotional like. <gasps> what yesterday? <gasps> yeah. That was like, because I, I was felt being that, like, you, man, for once. <gasps> I was like, I'd walk up to someone and it's like, ah! and then I, I would do it anyway. And then the next person, like, I would feel it, but do Wait. it anyway. And it seemed a Wait. lot more Hello. streamlined. Yeah. You did get, you did get a, a number or a yeah. contact. So. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that was pretty good. So you did well that way. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. Not for me. 
<laughs> you can have my number. Of course, I'll always have my number. Anyway, we're gonna have to. Cool. Fly. Yeah, let's wrap this up. So day three recap of the social challenge was successful. I would say it was successful. I would say it was successful too. So as always, guys, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Peace, love, and veganism, and get socializing. Oh, how? <laughs> yeah, you All never right. know who you'll meet. Next best friend, best partner, might inspire someone, you never know. Maybe even in Tesco's? Even in Tesco's. Are we even going to buy anything Tesco's here or just... <laughs> <laughs> Which ditch? Got your lighting. <laughs>